Hello everyone, um, welcome back. We are going to take the fight to the species called Goat Man. And I hope that they are not ready for what is about to happen to them. But they are not actually fully ready for what we are going to do. Oh, I actually like to put these things on my head. <laughs> on my thing head, not actually RAL. Level three. Hit. Let's try to get as much help as we can. I think we actually do have enough to attack with this time, but unfortunately our bite isn't that good. And one of them just accidentally pushed their egg and now it's rolling all the way down the hill and it's probably going to smash into two peaks. What's going on down here? You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this rock up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it. Actually going to it. Good job, We've grown a bigger brain, lol. <gasps> He's back! He's back! He's back! Yay! There's one of the friends. Do we actually have enough? For him? Yes, it might be it. Whoa. Yes! We did it!
And there you have it. We have just tamed our first. Uh, well, I don't even know what it is, but it's very, very. Guess it's going to be very useful. Now I think we should get down new friend on B. Come on, buddy, let's take this thing to the floor. Our new ally will prove very useful to us. It appears that our new ally has proven more useful than we actually ever needed. Now we are going to take out these two little areas here. As you can see, these two are, were the ones that attacked us last time in a few other episodes, and they have another floating egg. And this time, it will be them that will pay the ultimate price. The species have tried to destroy us before, now they will pay. Hopefully this species does not come back from migration. Oh my god. Not the best finding. Actually, yes, this is the best finding. Now, where are the rest of this? Gone. The rest of their species is gone. Where have they gone? Well, we will go back to them soon. Anyway, we are going to the other enemy. That's right. This species is also gone. Very strange. Oh my god, that looks a bit creepy. I don't even know what the hell that is. Hello? Are you no, you're in. In fact, you are a really bad enemy. Now your entire species will play. Oh, what? Come on, come on. The only thing I wanted to do was attack them. Oh, now what? What? Not now. Oh. Hasn't my species migrated enough? Come on. Okay, then.
Again, looks like we're going to our new one. But, however, I don't want to go to our new one. Ow! Okay, there we go. And we are going to probably go very, 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 very slow all the way to our new net. When we could just fly. Oh! Stop everything! Stop everything! Got you by surprise! Hello and welcome back to Spore. If I remember correctly, we were just about to hit the tribal stage. So yeah, a lot of you have probably already seen my Star Maid. I may continue that as well, as well as Happy Wheels. If I get a lot of comments and a lot of likes from people wanting me to do Happy Wheels, or if I get a lot of people asking me to play Happy Wheels. So anyway. I am playing Spore again. So basically, we were about one kill away from t becoming a tribal in going to the tribal stage of the game. So Hang on a second, let me turn the sound up a little. So this is what this is where where we were at. Basically. We need Kill one spore, just one. One empty, wincy little spore. Might as well kill these ones. And I don't know what this kind of spore class is. And we did it! And basically, I made it so you can now hear me a lot better now. Well, you probably can hear me now. I'm not exactly sure. So now we can advance to the tribal stage. Before we do that, I want to finish the rest of these. And there we go. Now we are going to advance to the tribal stage. So we went from being social to an adaptable creature, if that is how, if that is correct, I'm not sure. So we're, I can't, that basically is kind of like both, um, what that means is it's neutral, basically. We can be evil and good, and not just randomly good or randomly evil. Anyway, now we have the ability to change our creature's looks. Once more, just before we head into the tribal stage.
And just for one little bit, I'm just going to check to see if this looks any better. Uh, yeah, I think I'll keep that as it is. So we can be back to being an omnivore. I don't like that that much. Uh, so anyway, I think we'll just keep it as it is. And someone suggested this. Oh, it's not a school name. I believe that's a bit long. I might end up changing that as well. Best way to start the tribal stage. Oh god. It's just waiting for it to load, so it shouldn't uh, take this long. God, I hope none of these are an epic, because if we have an epic that is like one of these, I will literally. Well, basically, we're probably going to be screwed if this one is an epic. That one, probably not. That one, probably not. That one, probably not. That one, maybe. What do I do here? Do I click build? Oh, we can outfit ourselves. Well, that's useful. Okay. Social combat gathering level three. Put these on our arms. And let's have this one as um. Well, we want to be combat, so... Let's be combat. Now gathering... Gathering... Social free... Gathering and combat... Health is what we need as well. So this could be like kneecaps. Or shin pads as they're called. Kneecaps, shin pads. Whatever. Do we want to be as protective as we can? That probably won't work as well, but who knows? I hope it works. It might work, but I don't think it will. Don't actually think it will. There we go. Yes, I know how to do that. You just do this. Hold down both mouse buttons on both sides, then rotate the camera. And then you use your mouse wheel to scroll up and down on the camera and you can go to the game. You can use the arrow keys to go left and the right. And you can also click on your mini map. There we go. Now we got these two. We 
refreshing r storm and beast master. I believe that is something to do with um calling beasts over to our side. So okay, I believe that the only thing that can actually do that is the shaman. Now. Do you know, as I said before, you know that thing that followed us? That was basically our companion. It's now our pet. It's in our color code. So if I can move over here, not oh, this is very torchy. Yeah, it's because my thumb is on my mouse pad. Hello friend, would you like to be my friend? Shaman, what are you doing? What are you doing? What have you done? What have you done? What the hell have you done? Why is it out of its pen? It needs to be back in its pen. Put it back in its pen. What are you doing? Take it out. Take it back in. Keep it there. I'm not deserve to be out. Yes. No, don't attack it, don't attack it. Oh god. Yeah, these cow things. I don't know about these, but okay. How long is the cool time on that gonna take? Hunt prey for meat like fish. Make them angry. Really an idea. I'm gonna use them as a pet. That's better still. Hunt prey for good. That better not follow me. Oh god, it is. But look, it's also being our companion as well. Shooting. Oh god, the cow. The even mutant cows are attacking us! They want to eat us alive! Even though they're herbivore. Oh god, come on, this isn't fair. Well, there goes the cow family, I wasn't gonna let them repopulate that they attacked us. L? Is that like a... Oh my god, that's the ugliest troll guy I've ever seen. I don't even know what the hell they are. They might be dogs. Oh, so they just automatically grab the rest of the food. They don't really need to actually... Um... Oh, what's going on? What's happening? Okay, I don't know whether to be friendly with them or to be evil with them. Okay, we want to break the fish. Now, where are they? Okay, they're up there. They only have three members. And they're also building stuff. We don't actually have enough money to actually get ourselves weapons just yet. We're using it on our um, offspring. Oh my god, is that an epic? Wow! It's the Tree Guardian! Oh no, he's attacking the tree! Oh wait, no, he's not. Um, uh, yep. Um, if you kill an epic in the tribal stage, you, you do, you do, you get, if you kill an epic in the tribal stage, you do get a lot of food off of it. A lot. But you need to have a massive majority of people. Let me just get my tribe. And just gather up all of these. 
Now those two stay there. Um, don't worry, that's just a glitch. What is making the motion? What is making that noise? Back down to halfway. So, I should reckon that we should go after that effort. Look at it! Look at it! Oh, it's got anger. It's angry. It's very, very angry. Now we have a chance to go get that epic. We well, probably might die in the process. So I'm just going to send those two out to go kill them. I just only realised it has four legs. I thought it had three legs, but now it's four. Don't worry, they're okay, they won't just die instantly. Well, they actually will, but who cares? They can be replaced. Yes, I'm pretty sure that that was yummy. OMG! The last surviving cow of the population. I'll let it repopulate by itself. We're not going to attack it. But, however, these weird things probably are going to be attacked. That's all we could resort to catching fish. But we don't have anything to catch fish with. And we are carnivores. So, we have two options really. We can attack the frogs. Let's be kind to the frogs a little bit more before we go and attack them. I don't trust that cow. There's a lot of adults. This gives me a good opportunity to do the most courageous thing ever, ever, I've ever done. Would you like to have an animal army attack you? Dun, 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 dun. Oh look, the little baby one's coming. The baby ones are probably going to die though. Oh well. Hello, would you like to me to attack you? With animals, and evilness, and cows, and other things. Attack them, my pet. Destroy them. Bring them to their knees. Most well, quickest way to destroy base. Now, my pet, destroy them, kill them. Okay, my phone is dead. I only managed to put four of them, one of them in the process of doing that. So, we may come back and attack them. Or we can be friendly with them and give them a gift. You can't. Sorry, but it's still time to go. Yep, we're gonna head down to the. We're gonna head down to that one very soon, which is military in the next stage, which is um 
What should we call it? Uh... Oh god, they've got a raiding party. Oh no, it's just a little small one. Oh no. Is that... Why the hell is that hover? Where's it going? I highly doubt that they're going to use anything that's going to be that. Are you kidding me? Another one just spawned. I don't trust them. You want a war? I'll give you a war. There we go. They will trouble us no more. Now we can continue with our lives and hope that we don't get attacked again by them, considering that they are low on people. They only have four people. But, however, we have also got four people as well. So in the end, it might be a um, battle between who's got the more strength. Any seconds now. Put the goddamn food on the ground. Food on the ground. Food on the ground. Put the food on the ground. Stop glitching out, God! Put the food on the ground. How hard is it? Thank you for putting the food on the ground and being normal. God, they take a while to respond. Now, are they going to consider on doing another raiding party to attack us, or are they just going to sit there? Where is that epic? Oh wow, I just realized that epic is dangerously close. To them. Run, bird thing! Run! What is mostly surprising to me is they then attack the epic. The, the, the epic pick will come around and it will attack the. It surely will attack the base. So the epic might be doing us a favour. But I'm just going to save it, by the way. The epic might be doing us a favour in um, destroying that thing. That base. But because I mostly don't trust that we might be attacked. I'm just going to park my um, army out here. Well, we need the food, and I'm sorry. Leave the baby one, and let's continue. Cows have not repopulated because they're probably all dead.
gotta collect the rest of that food. Oh, so they do respawn, despite the fact respawn, not respawn, they do respawn, despite the fact that we attack them. Wow. I cannot believe that they're all gonna sit there and not realize this. Now, I wonder if my shaman can stand in the middle here, like this, and do Beastmaster to these two. How much health do they have? They got 50 and 40 health. That's going to be very useful for us because they have 50 and uh, 40 health and 20 health. Beastmaster! To war, my pet! You must destroy the enemy! To war my pet and people like this. But that's angry. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to shame it. I'm going to damage to us. I'm going to shame it like the boss of the whole group. Damn it! Get some of that nerd! Yeah, the fishermen are also going to realize that they're going to die. Quickly, burn the base! Burn the base! Destroy all the evidence! Now we have the upper hand and we can use it through their base. As you can see, their base is pretty much on fire. He's going to be able to spawn anything. He's going to be able to spawn anything out of there. Done. There we go, we have pillaged and basically burnt the tank down to the ground. And got some kind of a tiki head or something. Oh wow, that tent upgraded. There we go. Send our tribe back to the base. Do I want to be incredibly friendly with the next batch of um, tribes? Or do I want to be incredibly evil with them? But it appears that I might have a wall on my hand. Just considering they are all incredibly evil.